Hi guys, I'm Jack Wong and welcome to the channel. Today, we are going to discuss about an issue which we are all curious about, the electricity usage of our 3D printer. We often heard someone who claimed to have extremely expensive electricity bills after getting a single 3D printer at home. Based on our instincts, we highly doubt about their claims. So, to prove our thoughts, we are going to measure the electricity usage of our 3D printer and compare them to some common household electric appliances. For this purpose, we had specially ordered this watt meter which can help to measure the total electricity used which is the watt consumed. We will first measure the 3D printer that is at standby mode for 12 hours. Then, we will run a roughly 12 hours printing and measure it. Following, we will measure a refrigerator that operates for 12 hours, a laptop in screen saving mode for 12 hours, a single time phone charging, a fan that will be operating for 1 hour, a small cooker for 30 minutes, and a hair dryer for 1 minute. We will then calculate and convert the values into kilowatt hour, which our electricity charges are based on. Through simple comparison, we can easily find out if a 3D printer is really a power hungry appliance or not. So, let us go and measure them now. Yes! After several days, we finally able to capture all the data that we need. Before showing the results of the watt meter, we will first analyze all the 3D printer's components that will contribute to the electricity usage. These components are such as extruders, XYZ axis motors, the hot end, heat bed as well as the LCD, fans and controller board. Just as a fun fact, most of the time, the parts that involve heat emissions will consume more electricity. Here, we roughly compare all the average electricity usage of each component. By using the watt meter, we first power up the 3D printer and observe that the wattage is around 7.3 to 7.5 watts, represents the fans LCD and board controller wattage. Then, we home the 3D printer and get the wattage around 31 to 32 watts. The increase in the wattage will roughly represent the stepper motor's wattage. Then, we disable the stepper motors and will start to heat up our hot end to 200 degrees Celsius and heat that to 60 Celsius. The wattage usage for the hot end and heat bed is around 330 watts at its peaks and return to around 210 watts when the temperature is reached. So, the total of the wattage is around 340 watts which the 3D printer nominal power is 350 watts. Well, it is time to review all the results that we have gotten. The highest current usage appliance is the hair dryer, which records up to 1.02 kilowatt hour. The second higher current usage will be the kettle, which is 0.692 kilowatt hour. Next, we will have the 3D printer in printing mode, which recorded 0.105 kilowatt hour. The refrigerator comes next on the list, which it records around 0.058 kilowatt hour. We had been told that this refrigerator is very good in power conservations, so not that surprised to see it listed behind our 3D printer. Coming up, the fan which used up 0.037 kilowatt hour, and the laptop which uses 0.012 kilowatt hour. The second last goes to our 3D printer in standby mode, which use up 0.007 kilowatt hour, and the least electricity usage will be charging of phone, 
which only uses around 0.006 kilowatt hour. Fortunately, we do not have to pay much for charging our phone daily. Also, having our 3D printer in standby mode will not impose much burden to our electricity bill. So, you do not need to feel guilty next time if you are not able to turn off the printer immediately after printing is complete. Now, after getting all the values, let us investigate the financial parts which is the most important theme for today's video. For this video, we will be using the electricity rates in Malaysia which will be around 0.244 ringgit Malaysia per kilowatt hour. Let us assume that we will be using the printer to print at 24 hours non-stop and for 30 days. The total electricity usage of the 3D printer will be around 75.6 kilowatt hour. With this value, we can calculate that the total cost that we will need to pay for the electricity is around 18.5 ringgit Malaysia. In our country, you can get an ice cream around 3 ringgit Malaysia and have a meal around 10 ringgit Malaysia. Thus, I would say that this amount of money is reasonable and comparatively cheap compared to the other 3D printers item such as the modifications upgrade and material costing. Because we only measure our own Ender 3 V2 printer in this testing, be aware that the data might be slightly different across every printer. The electricity usage is as well depending on the heat bed size and the motor size. So, if you want to be 100% sure about your printer, you can repeat my experiment steps and let us know your results too in the comment section. Now we know that the electricity usage for the 3D printer is almost same as a normal household electric appliance. We can be more confident to convince your loved ones that the hobby is not that costly and is surely affordable for everyone. However, if you ever found that your 3D printer is really consuming an abnormally large amount of electricity, please contact your local vendor and check it out. So, this will be the end of the video. If you think that this video is helpful, please like, subscribe and share it to your friend. Your support is our greatest motivation to create more videos like this. As always, thanks and happy printing.